Pretty cool, right? What you just saw is a simple way to play video games using your hand gestures. In this tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to do that. We'll use a simple system to record your hand gestures and then turn them into keystrokes, opening up a whole new way to play and make it more interactive. So let's dive in and explore how it works. For you to understand how this works, let's start with what EMG or electromyography is. EMG measures the electrical activity in your muscles when they're activated by your nerves. It is commonly used in medical applications to detect neuromuscular disorders. But today, we're using it for something a lot more interesting, gaming. Now, let me show you what you'll need to create this project. For the hardware, you'll just need this DIY Neuroscience Kit Pro, which includes BioAmp EXG pill, Muscle BioAmp Shield, Arduino Uno, Skin Preparation Kit, BioAmp Cables, Gel Electrodes, and pretty much everything that you will need. The link for the kit is provided in the description box below. For the software, you need to download Arduino IDE, Visual Studio Code, and Python. Now that you have everything, let's start building. Stack the Muscle BioAmp Shield on top of Arduino Uno. Optionally, configure the BioAmp EXG pill for EMG by making a solder joint. While it's optional, it ensures better signal accuracy. Connect the BioAmp EXG pill to the A2 port on the Muscle BioAmp Shield using this 3-pin stemma cable. Connect one BioAmp cable to Muscle BioAmp Shield and another one to BioAmp EXG pill. Snap the BioAmp cables on the gel electrodes. Now it's time to prepare your skin and place these gel electrodes. We will be targeting the finger extension muscle for channel 1 and brachioradialis for channel 2. So apply new prep gel on the targeted area to clean the skin surface. Wipe off the gel and then position the electrodes on these muscles. Attach the reference electrodes to the bony part of your elbow. Make sure everything is snug and secure. Now, it's time to bring your setup to life. First, connect your Arduino to your laptop using a USB cable. Head over to the GitHub repository linked in the description and download the provided code files. Once downloaded, open the EMG2 channel game controller sketch in the Arduino IDE. Make sure you've selected the correct COM port and board under the tools menu. If you're unsure about the settings, refer to the quick guide in the repository. Once you're ready, hit the upload button. You'll see a progress bar indicating the code upload. Quick tip, for the best signal quality, sit at least 5 meters away from the AC appliances or other el electronic devices that might cause interference. Additionally, unplug your laptop charger to minimize electrical noise. Once uploaded, you're ready to test. With the code uploaded, let's test how the setup works. Open the serial monitor in Arduino IDE and select a baud rate of 115200. This will display the output values in real time. 0 for no muscle activity detected, so no keystroke is triggered. 1 for bending your hand to the left, which triggers the left arrow key. 2 for bending your hand to the right, which triggers the right arrow key. And 3 for flexing your fingers, which triggers the up arrow key. Once you've confirmed these outputs, it's time to integrate with the Python script. Open Visual Studio Code and ensure that you have Python installed. Navigate to the folder containing the EMG2 channel game controller script. Before running the script, make sure all required Python modules are installed. Run the script and it will automatically detect your Arduino's COM port. If it doesn't, don't worry. You can manually edit the COM port in the script by changing the line that reads find responsive port to your specific port name. Once everything is set up, you'll see the keystrokes mapped in the terminal. Want to personalize your gaming experience? Customizing the keystrokes is easy. Open the emg2channel gamecontroller.py script in your text editor. Look for lines in the code like keyboard.press left or keyboard.press up. Simply replace left, right or up with your desired keys. For instance, you can change the left to A or right to D for games like racing simulators or RPGs. After editing the script, save your changes and rerun it. This flexibility allows you to tailor the controls to suit a variety of games, whether you're exploring dungeons, solving puzzles, or racing down a track. Now, it's time to have some fun. Test your controller on different games. We have tried it on platformers, racing games, and even puzzle games, and it works like a charm. As you experiment, you'll notice how responsive the hand gestures are. And don't even stop here. This setup can be a getaway to exploring other applications, like controlling media playback, designing assistive devices, and even developing your own interactive projects. This project is a glimpse into the exciting world of neuroscience. 
You can get the step by step tutorial for this on our Instructables, link for which is given in the description box below. While we focused on gaming, EMG signals can be used for a lot more. Imagine controlling a robot arm, designing creative art tools or even developing assistive technology for people with disabilities. We can't wait to see what you will create. Share your ideas and projects in the comments. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future tutorials. Until next time, happy tinkering.